about Oz the Great and Powerful, he asked her out three times through wow. the entire interview. Oh, God. Ballsy. You gotta Ballsy. take your chance once you have it with Mila Kunis. I'm sorry. <laughs> she, I have a girl crush. I, I, How can you I'm not? not? I mean, if I was interviewing her, it'd probably <laughs> be more like seven or eight times I was asking her. <laughs> I'd try to give her my digits slide. I wouldn't even be able to talk. I'd just like stand there and just like look at her. You yeah, know? that sounds like me too. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'd words. probably ask her out like on the back of my note cards. Like while I'm sitting there asking your questions, like on the back, it'd just be like, "What's your digits?" <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Take a take a shot. I'll take a shot too. But yeah. Might as well. You got the chance. They actually didn't get to talking about it as much as they wanted to, so mm. it was just a big old riff on her. Anyway, we're gonna take another quick break, and we're gonna take a look at a UWL promo. <laughs> University of Wisconsin Lacrosse is ranked the number two college in the Midwest. UW Lacrosse is ranked number 34 for out of state students among public universities nationwide. UW Lacrosse is ranked as one of the most military friendly schools in the nation. UW Lacrosse is number 24 among medium colleges and universities for Peace Corps volunteers. Welcome back to Afternoon Delight. Alyssa, why don't you take us through another story? All right, Erin. Well, actually, Holly Madison just checked into the hospital for her baby yesterday, so they Aww. were going to induce her labor. Haven't heard any word whether she had the baby yesterday night, if she's having it today, but, I mean, it's just kind of a big step. I found out maybe a month ago that she was pregnant, so <laughs> I was like, whoa, all right, then. Flies, right? Oh, I found yeah. out this morning. <laughs> I thought, didn't she have a show? on E! Network about her like in Las Vegas she or something? She did. I believe it was called... Where, where was all that? When was, when was... I'm a big E! Network fan, so I know what happens most of the time. I'm a Kardashian. Keep up, keep <laughs> up, keep up with... Oh God. I uh, keep up with Lamar and Chloe, but they haven't told me anything about Holly on that, and I'm a little disappointed that I had to find out through the grapevine. Yeah, and she actually did have to give up Peep Show in order to have her baby. So Aww. I don't know when she's coming back on Peep Show, whatever, but that was a big thing for her. That's where she got most of her money after the Girls Next Door and her show on E. So, I mean, I hope that baby is healthy and cute. So Has Hugh Hefner said anything about this? <laughs> well, imagine how many so. babies he probably has out there. His, like, yeah. Yeah. He's his DNA is all over the place. <laughs> he's fine. Who do you yeah. think runs his mansion and all the camera <laughs> exactly. equipment? And he's the he's like this little toddler baby. He's just one just Utilizing the baby. Wearing robes. That's it. Everybody. Little bubble pipes. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> 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 little bubble pipes. Little velvet robes. Velvet robes. Bubble pipes. They're just living up the life, you know? Why not? You're living in the mansion. I'd love to be a little good baby life. <laughs> Pretty good life. Well, speaking of very lovely people, Heidi Klum is going to be the new judge on America's Got Talent. Ooh. Why? Yeah, the show. <laughs> why not? Heidi she, uh, Klum. The show actually started filming today. It won't be aired until summer, but she's actually going to be the fourth instead of just three judges this season. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not she can judge talent as well as you can sewing and design so <laughs> i'm sure they're pretty close you know singing yeah. sewing. sewing i mean is that there a nice. new show with america's next top model with um previous models being judges like why wasn't she put on that there's a new show coming out obviously because america's america's got down was way more important uh, obviously <laughs> way apparently. more important i mean you'd think she'd stick to her roots but mm. you know what's all over knows? More important is that a dog got stuck in a car, and whose dog? Uh, Nene Leakes from Real Housewives of Atlanta. She left her Yorkie in her car. Oh. How, is, how is that news? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's, it's a, a woman just, who's claiming to fame. And she called, she uh. called the police, and she was just like, I lost my keys in my car, and my Yorkie's just barking at me. Like, 
I this is a locksmith. Show. <laughs> Break the, Break the window. window. You're just watching your dog die like of like. Was it wasn't like hot in there? No, it, well it was it, it wasn't. It but like it. The dog was just looking at her like I've been in here for a couple hours now. Like, yeah, because the dog's probably sitting there, like, like breaking me out. Yeah, 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 like, what do you decide, you know, to go shopping or whatever? I mean, don't you put your Yorkie in your purse nowadays? Like, what do those people do? You know what I mean? They put their little dogs. I thought in they there. got little strollers and stuff. Little strollers, yeah, yeah. little baby strollers. Like I don't know. Here's here's the problem solver. Mm -hmm. Stupid women like her don't get dogs <laughs> and don't get cars. Better than having kids. Don't get cars. Bam, Would you rather you than have this her lock and child in the If car. you get a show just true. because you're a wife and a mother, why? Why? But you want, you want to see? You want to see a good yeah. show? You show my mom making food for me and my brothers like military, <laughs> just plates of it. And Not like these high dog. fashion models that are walking in the streets with these little rotten dogs and locking them in cars and. <laughs> That's yeah. news? No, that's, that's not news. <laughs> yeah, like my mom would make like these huge, huge farm meals because we have like at least three or four different men on the farm eating like everything. And then there's me who can't stand, who can't ever turn down a good roast or steak. Can't. It's good stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why not? Anyway, so. continuing on. All right. So, apparently... Dennis Rodman has now become Ooh, best yes. friends with North Korea's dictator. Yeah. They uh, <laughs> he apparently got to get in, go into the country, and watched a basketball game with the president, <laughs> and then came back on the news this last Sunday, I believe. Yes. Saying that was it, Kim Jong Un. Yes. Yes. That's okay. Kim Jong Un wanted to talk to Obama like that he said that's the only thing he really like outside of some really really weird statements but this is Rodman we're talking about it's Dennis not surprising Rodman. but it's it was just bizarre yeah I saw that that was I don't know what's going on like Dennis Rodman the, he used to be kind of like the wild boy of the Chicago Bulls yep <laughs> he's the wild boy of the entire human race because yeah. this is <laughs> nuts one of the, the his best quote of the entire time he had that interview was that he thought that the uh, Kim Jong Un was humble. Oh, I was like, yeah, he's humble. Yeah, his like entire life, he's been told that his it. family has been divinely chosen to rule Eastern Asia. That's humble. Yeah, that's very humble, that's humble in my book. That's I mean, right on the yeah, point. Yeah, the fact that this guy had like an entire military march in his honor. That's uh, humble. That's not humble. He in your own honor. Maybe your dad, even though oh, how many parades has he had? But yeah, to no, yourself, that's even that's even a little egotistical. You're not humble at all. No. Dennis Rodman's a liar, and I don't know why we would have ever had to believe him in the first place. <laughs> Who chooses Dennis Rodman of, of the entire the Chicago <laughs> Bulls team? <laughs> I, I can understand Michael Jordan wouldn't want to go. Who would? Pippen wouldn't want to go. But Rodman, <laughs> the clown, you're killing me. He was in a movie with Jean-Claude <laughs> with Jean Van Damme. I remember that movie. It was it wasn't too bad. It no, was, it was horrible. It, it was <laughs> it was it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen some really bad movies. Apparently, the only thing worse would it be if they made him going to North Korea into a movie. Kim Jong-un would be in it. All right. <laughs> we're going to go to the part of the portion where we're going to talk about our ending thoughts. My ending thought is actually on a subject we haven't talked about. Today, Iron Man 3 released its brand new spanking trailer. And from the beginning, it's completely, completely epic. It was beautiful. It starts out, you got Robert Downey Jr. He's just doing his little monologue about how he's... Iron Man and that he's seen so many things he can't sleep and then just right at the end that last 10 seconds when Robert Downey Jr. sitting there with um, John Cheadle or whatever the guy's playing Rhodey he's like bringing the back up and then just holy balls <laughs> Iron Man <laughs> right? everywhere, yeah. Iron it, was, Man it, everywhere. Was, it was like at least half a dozen different suits busted like flying in and then one just busted bust through this shipping container and it's just like Oh man, it this was is beautiful. gonna be good. All the lined up. It was just no. They're beautiful. like walking in slow motion too, like looking at each other. Like we know we're yeah. cool people. <laughs> hey, watch <laughs> run. That's what I'm saying though. Uh, <laughs> Iron Man three. It's coming out. It's looking epic. Thank you, Disney, for doing all this for us. Um, I want to thank everybody for being on the show today. 
Thanks for listening, everyone out there. It's Afternoon Delight. We will be back next week. Pop.